Okay, so this video we will be looking at the types of maps now. In geography, you will be looking at three different maps. These are physical maps, political maps, and thematic maps. Now, this first type of map is a physical map. And a physical map shows natural features such as oceans, rivers, and the height of the land and major landforms. So this might be mountains, deserts, forests, things like that. So your physical features. So if we look at this picture of Africa, this is a physical map and we can see that this part up here is dry. That's the Sahara Desert. We can see the part in the middle is green. That's where all your jungles are around the Congo around the equator and then we can see it gets a little bit dry again if we look at this picture of the United States we can see the Rocky Mountains or the higher ground along here along the western side and we can see it's green here so a physical map shows you all your physical features now on your worksheet that asks you to look at the physical map of Australia. So what type of map is this? That is of course a physical map. You then have to name three different types of features that are shown. Now that could be oceans, which is here, the blue. That could be the height of major landforms, the Great Dividing Range, some of the mountains around here. That could be rivers. We can see that's the Murray there. And it also shows towns and cities, so it has some political features. Now, your next map is the political map. So a political map shows countries and states and their boundaries, capital cities, and other major cities. So this is a political map of Europe. We can see the different countries, Ireland, England, France, Spain, Portugal, Belgium, Netherlands, Germany. We can see the borders, and we can also see some of the capital cities. London, Paris, Berlin, Warsaw, Prague, and Rome. So your worksheet asks you to look at this political map of Australia and to name three different types of features that are shown. Now for that one, you could of course write down state names, state boundaries, capital cities, major cities, country names, country boundaries, oceans and seas. So we can see the states, the cities such as Adelaide, it even has Port Pirie, Wyala, Port Augusta on here. So all your political features such as cities and borders. Now the third map that you are dealing with is called a thematic map. Now it's called a thematic map because it has a certain theme. So thematic maps focus on one theme or feature such as land use, vegetation cover or population density. Now they often use colours or shading or symbols or dots to show the distribution of this feature. So this one here is a picture of the world and it's showing, if we look at our legend, population in millions. So it's using blue, so the darker the blue is, the more people are in that country. So looking at this map, you can see that the highly populated countries are the areas in dark blue. So we can see America, Brazil, Russia, China, India, parts of Asia and parts of Western Europe are countries that have over 50 million. Now Australia has about 22 million, 23 million people currently. So we can see it's that colour, hence why Australia is coloured in like that. Now this map, thematic map, shows distribution of global wealth. Again, it's using green. The darker the green, the more wealth per capita or the more money people in that country have. So we can see the rich areas, Australia, Western Europe and North America. The poor countries are the lighter green, South America, Africa, Asia, 
parts of Eastern Europe. So this thematic map is showing people per square kilometre. So this is where people in Australia live. Again, it's using the colour, this sort of brown, and the darker the colour, the more people live in that area. So we can see the dark areas around the coasts and on the eastern states, sort of where the capital cities are. Adelaide's here, Melbourne's here, Sydney's here, Brisbane's here, and Perth is here. Now we can see the areas that have 0.1 to 1 people there, or less than 0.1, is the middle of Australia. So that's where not many people live. Now your worksheet is asking you to look at this thematic map. Now the first question asks you what type of map is displayed. It's of course a thematic map and the theme of the map. You have to look at it and ask yourself what information is that map telling me. Now that map is telling you the January average temperature. So that is basically in Australia what the average temp temperature is during January. Now your third question asks you describe what map, what, in, what information that map tells you. Now the sort of answer you'd be looking for for that is something like most of central and northern Australia including places like Alice Springs experiences the highest January temperatures where the average can, seed, can exceed over 30 degrees. Now we're getting that information from our scale because we can see the darker areas is over 30 degrees, the lighter areas is 12 to 15 or under 12. So the darker it is, the hotter it's getting. You could then say that as you move south and east towards the coast, temperatures begin to drop. Places like Brisbane have average temperatures between 24 and 27, because we look at that color and it's that color. And Perth and Sydney experiences averages of 21 and 24. So that colour, match it up, match it up. While Adelaide, Melbourne and Canberra experiences temperatures in the 18 to 21 range. Again, we match up the colours with our scale here. And Hobart is the coolest city where temperatures on average reach 12 to 15 degrees. So we can see there it's quite light and it's 12 to 15 degrees. So that's how we use physical, political and thematic maps.